Uh, let's see. Sat, I just DWG Solid Part, DWF, JT, DXF Wire, Cat Part, Cat Product, PRT, Parasolid, ASM, Grant, Step, Solid Part. So if any of those acronyms are perfectly understood and read to you like a Stephen King novel, you've been in the mechanical design and engineering world for at least one day. Dealing with file translations, neutral file formats, or non-native CAD files from other people is a necessary ugly pain in the ass that is unavoidable. Now, I'm not going to try and claim that dealing with interoperability between various CAD platforms inside of Inventor is all sunshine and honey, but I will say that Autodesk Inventor makes dealing with these files suck a lot less. First off, we can open those neutral file formats I, I mentioned, of course, and then we can take that a step further by providing our users the ability to open native ProEngineer, SolidWorks, UGNX, and oh yeah, CATIA files, something that little brother isn't even able to do. No consommation du portage pour vous. Sorry, my French isn't that great. So why does that even matter? We built Autodesk Inventor to be the foundation for our digital prototyping strategy. And digital prototyping is how Autodesk enables manufacturers to design, manufacture, and market the world's greatest products. While we believe that Inventor is the most robust 3D engineering tool available, not everybody is using it. So in order for those to take advantage of the in-the-box analysis with Moldflow, our BIM exchange tools, or borrow our direct modeling capabilities with Inventor Fusion, we don't be hating. We simply open them so that you can get your job done and create the BIM content you need, or DWG files that work, maybe some hot marketing collateral with our image-based lighting tools, and design tooling for parts that may not have been originally modeled in Inventor. Oh, and speaking of direct modeling with Inventor Fusion, Autodesk Inventor and Fusion play very well together. So much so that if you want to see what has changed within a model from Fusion, open it up inside of Inventor. And those users can cycle through the changes and choose which of those edits are acceptable. Then drive those changes all the way down to each feature and sketch parameter. Those aren't dumb edits. This is the perfect blend of both direct modeling and parametric modeling. So as you can see, we grade very well in the category of shares well with others. With interoperability, Autodesk Inventor takes you beyond 3D to digital prototyping.